Hi, I'm Mark Kaszewski, the director of the Neiswanger Institute for Bioethics and Health Policy, and I'm the instructor for clinical bioethics this semester. Um, I'd like to take a moment to welcome you all to the course. Um, I think we have a very interesting and exciting course ahead of us. Um, it's personally my favorite one in the program to teach, and I hope that you'll have an enjoyable experience as well. Uh, first, a few business items. Uh, I would encourage you to start out by reading the syllabus very thoroughly, simply because it will tell you an awful lot about how we're going to proceed in the course and the kinds of things you need to do to stay on top of things. Um, if you uh, pre follow the syllabus closely, and especially looking at the requirements, um, I'm sure you'll have a very easy and enjoyable experience. We've structured the course such that each week you come in, uh, you, you look at the uh, readings that are online for that week, uh, including an online lecture that I provide that summarizes much of the material and provides an overview. During that week, we will have discussion on the bulletin board. And you're required normally to post once by Wednesday night and again by Sunday night on the board so that we have a well-paced discussion throughout the week. Typically, you won't be able to get through all the readings by the time you're supposed to post on Wednesday night. And I would encourage you just to make sure that you read the online lecture to give you a little bit of framework at, before you post. Uh, but don't necessarily wait till you've gotten through all the readings because you're, you're able to read throughout the week as you go. Uh, at Sunday night, then, I will typically summarize the discussion we've had. Um, there will often be too many points for me to recount, but I'll at least hit some of the highlights of your take-home points for you. Also, there is a requirement of a paper. It's a really a brief essay of about 1,000 to 1,500 words that's required, and it's due just after the midterm. As you look at the syllabus, you'll see that um, you'll have the uh, spring break at the midterm point so that you can start writing, and then we'll give you one week off from the, the normal thing we do where we do the lectures and posting so that you can write all that week. And then at the, at the end of that week, you'll turn in the paper, and we'll resume our typical discussion activity. At the end of the course, there will be a brief multiple choice and short answer test that's provided online as well as part of your grade. But the beauty of this kind of pacing is that um, you get a chance to digest much of the material up to the midterm, then to put a little bit of effort into um, summarizing some of your thoughts in an essay in which you develop a very brief argument. And then you go on to be able to assimilate more information and incorporate more of the discussion in your thinking without having to worry about turning in a paper at the end. So you can participate fully and completely throughout the end of the semester. Um, the, uh, the course, as I said, is on clinical bioethics. And beyond the requirements, let's just talk a little bit about the content. The content is the kind of thing you'd expect in a clinical bioethics course. It's the stuff of decision-making at the bedside. So we'll talk about things like informed consent, decision-making capacity, the many aspects of end-of-life care, um, from advanced directives through surrogate decision-making, um, as well as topics such as futility and brain death. So you'll, you'll get a, an introduction to all of the topics that typically confront a clinical ethicist in their hospital. Um, and often the kinds of things that ethics consults are called about. Uh, many of you have experience to share uh, because you've either conducted clinical consults or you've treated patients. And so we'll have very rich discussions, and I encourage you to participate in those discussions vigorously. Of course, a few of you may have no health care experience directly, but have encountered the health system in some ways and may uh, share that experience as well in, in your participation. So I think that um, we'll have a lot uh, of uh, experience to share and really create a very rich learning environment and learning community. And to my mind, that's what makes this course very special. Uh, namely, that it is a, a group of adult learners who bring so much to the table, and all of that gets incorporated and we form an online community that is supportive and helpful to each other and from which we can all learn. I know I tend to take away from this course more than I contribute to it, and I believe you will as well. So with that much said, why don't we get started? Go ahead and read the syllabus, and I'll see you um, giving your introduction, telling us a little bit about yourself, and on the discussion board. Thanks.